What's up, everybody? This is the voice of YouTube's man, Shell the Hatchet, here coming at you with my newest Dokkan video. And today we're doing a team showcase on the very one of my best pulls of 2020. Right at the start of 2020, and I pulled arguably. I, I said that weird, didn't I? Huh. Oh well. Um. To a lot of people, especially to the truth, a contender for best unit in the game. Now, I was only luckily able to pull one. I do plan on rabling um, them. Hopefully, the next time they're on it on a LR banner, or maybe like if I on that, <laughs> I may even purchase a copy when. Uh, if I pull LR Tech Broly, I may use my coins to like purchase a do for LR Kale and Cleefla. Because they are that good and I and I really do like how they work. Um I, I got impressed with them when I used them on JP. So just like always, we're gonna play through the Fire Legend Goku event. Because this is we're gonna be able to see them shine on this. Uh in this event. So let's try and find a good friend one. With some dupes in them. There we go. Two dupes. Um, unfortunately, in terms of joint forces, I brought in LR Goku, uh, LR Goku Black and Zamasu and LR um, uh, GT Trio. You know what? Let's keep. Let's rotate the GT Trio. Let's put LR Goku. Black and Zamasu there. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to see their 18 plus super with this um, friend unit. But however, when I read what this unit does, you're going to understand why this team, I mean this unit is considered and is debated heavily that this unit could be like the best unit in the game. And I'm starting to understand that. Um, do I still think that it's... <laughs> do I think that there are reasons why they could not be considered that? Sure, but however, if I remember correctly how they work, their passive deals with pure Saiyans. And ironically enough, what are most... What are the most units in this game? Pure Saiyans. So. I mean, we're going to be able to see them do some amazing stuff against this Goku. That's why I chose to go in here. Now, hopefully, next next rotation, I'll be able to I'll be able to get both LR Kale and Califlas there. This unit right here, I remember when. LR Gobros was announced and, and came out. Everyone was kind of like... People were... Un, like, underestimating him. For sure. Okay, this is the rotation we want here. Uh, I'm gonna give the friend unit... Those tech orbs. So that we can get his... Uh, well, their 18 plus super... And also, um, expect some 5th Anniversary Summons videos, because I do hopefully plan on getting a uh, Japanese iTunes card. So, expect some JP 5th Anniversary Summons. As long as these two doesn't KO them, we should be able to see some amazing stuff. Okay. We may not be able to see this rotation, because I think this super might... Defeat him. I mean, when you put dupes in them, there's a there's a chance that when you do your initial super attack, they'll do a additional normal attack and then do a super attack and hopefully follow it up with another super attack. So that's three super attacks right there. And 
again, I don't want to be... I don't want to be, like, you know, true and say that they are the best unit in the game, but it's like, based on statistics, there is good argument on why they could be considered as such. And... The fact that they made a non-Goku, Vegeta, you know, any of the main cast, LRs, good, is really cool to me. Because, obviously, you know, no matter what your opinions are, are on, on Dragon Ball Super, the Universe 6 Saiyans, a lot of people do like them. Especially Kale and Kal Khalifa. And also, too... You know, I don't want to get into the the shipping side of it, but, you know, there are people out there that think that, you know, well, you all know. If you guys are a part of the Dragon Ball fandom, you guys know what people think of Kale and Khalifa's Ko re relationship is. Um, me, personally, I don't, like I said, I, I don't do the shipping thing anymore. I mean, there are some ships I... I I, I like, but I don't really put it out there for the whole world to see. Um, so hopefully we'll be able to reach Ultra Instinct. That's the big plan here. I have a question for all of you. What are you hoping the 5th anniversary banners have on it? Now, a lot of people are speculating it's going to be Gogeta Blue and Vegeta Blue. Um, a lot of people are thinking it's going to be Gogeta Blue and a full power of Rolly. A lot of people are thinking, you know, a lot of people, you know, it could be Gogeta Blue and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Which I'm hoping for the latter because we need a new Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta card. I mean, the first one that came out, the the tech one is still good. But it would be nice to have a updated one. I mean, I, I would love to see a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta card with, like, the, um, with, uh, the, with the amazing new... Super attack animations. I think that would be really cool, but... I would be fine with any of them. Part, like, part of the, part, part of the reason I wouldn't want it to be, like, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is because I wouldn't want both. And obviously, they would make it a dual go contest. Because I'm such a big Gogeta fan. I mean, heck, uh, I got the SH Figure Arts Gogeta figure, like, right behind me. Like, no joke, it's, like, right on my, uh, movie shelf to where, like, I have a lot of my, uh, you know, some of my figure collections. Alright. Uh, let's give... The go rolls that. Let's give him that. I'm hoping... I mean, like... We're doing amazing against this event. Like, we are. We haven't really got into halfway damage yet. I mean, double damage. I mean... This team is pretty dang... Pretty dang amazing. Yeah, I'm just, I'm very impressed with this LR. I know I keep saying that, but, I mean, I'm I'm loving this LR a lot. And there we go. Three super attacks right there. I know that there are people that are annoyed with that, but it's like, again, you can't really ignore the statistics. Alright, I don't want to do a Dokkan. I mean... I wouldn't mind doing a Goton, a Doke. Oh my god, can I speak English, please? I wouldn't mind doing a Go. 
a Dokkan attack here, considering, like, this is where, like, this, in my opinion, this phase is probably the hardest. Hashtag Nano always misses one of them. However, I wish I would have gave uh, the LR Vegito. I mean, I know it's technically LR Goku and Vegeta, Int, LR Goku and Vegeta, and the physical one is uh, Physical Goku and Vegeta Angel, but it, it's it's more easier to say like LR Gogeta and LR Vegito. And as you all can see, I've, I've been grinding Dragon Stones. And, uh, we have type disadvantage in. See, we barely took any damage there. And we dodged. I mean, that was type disadvantage. And we didn't really get hit that much. That hard. At all. You know what, uh... I want that type of advantage. I need to make a video on the Dragon Ball Secrets team. I mean, there's a possible chance that we may not even see Gogeta and Vegito Fuse. There's a possibility. And, uh, who knows what, dang, uh, who knows what the next banner of Global will be coming. I mean, we know that the Heroes banner is coming, but in terms of, like, what they're going to put out at the same time as the, the fifth anniversary is going on in JP, because last year, when the fifth, anniver uh, when the fourth anniversary was going on, we got the Dragon Ball Super Broly celebration stuff. And actually, fun fact, it was that same event on JP is what made me decide to finally jump in and make, and make a JP Dokkan account. Because, again, I'm a big Gogeta fan. And I actually... I'm, I'm actually becoming a pretty big Broly fan. Um, I know that there's that whole thing about how, like, you know, the new Broly is better than the old Broly. Which, story-wise, is true, but I honestly like both of both equally. It's like comparing apples and oranges to me. I mean, the I mean the very first Broly movie is still very fun to watch. But yeah, you know, we'll see how far we get. I'm not really... I'm not really that worried about winning or losing. And, uh, one, and one thing I'll probably do when we get the new missions for this event, I'll probably stream them for you all. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, I think we, yeah, I think we got this in the bag. Yeah. If they don't defeat him, it will be, uh, who, uh, who's ever coming up next. Yeah, the GT Trio. They should be able to. And look at that, dodging. Every single one of those normal attacks, they were dodging. Okay. Now we're facing against Super Saiyan Blue Goku. I'm gonna rotate 
LR goes you out. And we got all of them to do their 18 plus supers. Now let's see how much they can rip sand this. Not too bad, actually. And, and, and the funny thing is, I haven't even used an item at all yet. Because the thing is, we have two full healers with the LR Gogeta and Vegeta, so like, I'm pretty sure that we're past the fourth or fifth turn mark for them to fuse once we get like below uh, below 50% health. So I'm pretty confident that we might be able to no know, know item run this. I'm pretty confident. Hmm. Rotate out Goku, um, Goku Black and Zamasu. Okay. I mean, if we freaking know item run this, I'm gonna be shocked. Okay. I'm not sure if they can die super. They just. Uh... <laughs> oh my. Again, you just can't ignore this statistic. I can totally buy the fact that they could be the best unit in Dokkan Battle. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save that for for when we need it. Actually, we're not gonna be able. Can we get? Okay, we did get the 18 key. So, if the Eller Gobros can do their super attack and the follow up with another super attack, that should hopefully. No, so the girls will be finishing him off. I just realized something. Please don't have both of them fuse at the same time. A little bit of lag there. A little bit of lag. They are. <laughs> right. That's why I always try to keep them on the same rotation. Right. Oh, well, this isn't going to be a serious run. You know what? Let's put Vegito in the front there. Let's give them all these. Let's give them, let's give them all that. And let's give Gogeta all of that. Now, unfortunately, we're getting to the part to where... This Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be able to... He just dodged. So... We have to make sure the RNG is on our side. Okay...
I don't want to use an item unless we nece necessarily have to. So yeah, we're going to see, like I said, and I know I keep repeating myself. I want to see how far we can get with this team. I don't want to do like what, you know, the truth does. I actually want to run this event pretty much nano style to where like we we hop in the, we hop into a event and we see what happens. We build a team and we see what happens. Alright, we got hit there, 18 plus super going. I wish they would use a normal super attack though. And they dodge. That's impressive. Ah, uh, how many super attacks did they just do? <laughs> Jeez. And they didn't. That's not the Fred unit with two dupes. That's my. That's my fifty-five percenter. That is impressive. Like I say, I'm not really that worried about losing or winning, you know. You know, that's why I'm not going to use items. A dodge. Nice. Right, hopefully we'll be able to get to Master the Auction Sync. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be able to fight, at least attempt to defeat him. Alright, cool. Go ahead and use their active skill. Do that. Do that. And do that. So Punisher. Come on, survive this, survive this, survive this, Gogeta. Honestly, now that I think about it, I should have rotated the girls out. I think we definitely lost here. That's four super attacks. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah. I knew that was going to happen because I screwed up. So, yeah. That was uh, my attempt at no item running this. If I... If I play that a little bit more smarter, if, if what screwed us over was when Gogeta and Vegito fused, fused at the same same uh, rotation. If that didn't happen, we probably would have been fine. Then we, and like, we could have, you know, if one of them fused, they could have helped us out with the uh, STR Ultra Instinct Omen. And then if we were, and then we could have attempted to defeat master UI, but then if our health got to 50%, then the other one would fuse, which will get us back up to that 100%. So it is possible to no item run with my team setup. It is possible. So, yeah. Uh, with that said, we're going to go ahead and move it over to the next screen here. Alright, let's begin. Two makes the strongest of all universes. Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla and Super Saiyan 2 Kale, uh, Kale. Their leader skill is Join Forces, Category Key plus 4, and HP Attack and Defense plus 130%, or Super AGL Type Key plus 4 and HP Attack and Defense plus 100%. Super Attack, their 12th key is the Seismic Combat, which raises defense and causes colossal damage to the enemy, and their 18 plus key is Limit Break. Blaster, which raises defense, causes mega class damage to enemy. Passive skill. Let's go even further. Attack and defense plus 66%, and launch and launches a an additional attack key plus one up to up to plus six, and chance of evading enemy's attack, including super attack, plus six up to 66% with each attack performed. Attack plus 10 per per universe six joined forces or pure saints. Category ally on the team launches in a digital super attack when there is a universe survivor saga or pure saiyans category enemy. Which this right here, this makes up the bulk of Dokkan. That is why people consider this unit the best unit in the game. Lean skills are Super Saiyan, Battlefield Diva. Warriors of Universe 6, Tournament of Power, pre Prayer for Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. The categories they can be a part of is Peppy Gals, Universe, Survivor Saga, Pure Saiyans, Full Powered, Joint Forces, Universe 6, and Super Saiyan 2, which is right now a JP exclusive category. Next up we have Fused Super Power, Super Saiyan Goku, and... Super Saiyan Vegeta. Their leader skills are Potara category key plus 3 attack um, HP and attack one, one plus 170 and defense plus 130% or int type key plus 3 and HP attack and defense plus 90%. Their 12th key super is the Kame, Kamehameha and Big Bane attack. Causes cost damage to enemy. Their final strategy which is their 18 plus key super. Raises attack for one turn and causes mega Mega colossal damage to enemy. Passive skill, the strongest duo. Attacking defense plus 120% at start of turn. Key plus 2 in additional per rainbow key spears obtained. Perform Potara Fusion when conditions are met. And their Potara Fusion conditions are. They will fuse when HP is 50% 50, 50 or below, starting from the 6th turn from the start of battle. Their early skill is Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, the Saiyan lineage, experienced fighters, prepare for battle, fierce battle, and, and legendary power. Category is Potara, Majibu Saga, Joint Force of Super Saiyan, and Kamehameha. Now, a lot of people say that this and the um, LR, Goku, and Vegeta Angel should be pure Saiyans, and I kind of have to agree with them on that. They should be pure Saiyans. And when they fuse into the fuse superpower super Vegito, um, their leader skill is still the same. You know, Patara category key plus three attack and HP plus one seventy percent and defense plus one thirty percent, or end type key plus three 
case we attack defense goes up to 90%. The Big Bane attack causes cross damage to the enemy. The final Kamameha causes Mega cross damage to the enemy and raises Ali's attack by 30% for one turn. Potara Miracle fully recovers HP. Um, they uh, they will fully recover your HP when they first uh, fuse. And, and they will counter attacks upon receiving normal attacks. Attack and defense plus, plus 150% and start of turn. K plus 3 in additional per rainbow key spares obtained. Winning skills are Kamameha Super Saiyan, Power Bestowed by God, Fused Fighters, Prepare for Battle, Fused Battle, Legendary Power. Category uh, is pretty much the same thing when they're not fused. They don't really get any any, any new categories. So it's Potara, Majin Buu Saga, Joining Force, Super Saiyan, and Kamameha. The Fuse Fighting Force, Super Saiyan Goku Angel and Super Saiyan Vegeta Angel. Their leader skills is Fusion Category, Keep us 3, Attack and um, HP and Attack plus 170% and Defense plus 130% or Fist Type, Keep us 3 and HP Attack and Defense plus 90%. Their Super Attack, the Kamehameha and Big Brain Attack, the Charles Key Super, causes cause damage to enemy, Kamehameha and Final Fat and Final Flash, their team plus Super raises attack for one turn and causes mega causes damage to the enemy. Their passive skill and in, in invincible duo. Tank defense plus one twenty percent at start of battle. Key plus two. Uh, key plus two in additional per rainbow keys for attain. And their fusion conditions is fuse win HP is fifty percent of order starting starting from the sixth turn from the start of battle. So same thing like Vegito. Uh, their healing skills are Kamameha, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Experienced Fighter, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle. Legendary power category is fusion, joint forces, movie hero, super saiyan, Kamehameha, Kamehameha and other world um, warriors, which is right now a JP exclusive. Now they could bring the int super saiyan to transforming Goku and the tech Majin uh, transforming Majin Vegeta in February for us, but I highly doubt it. I think we'll probably see STR's STR cooler, which I'll be going in on that for sure. Alright, next up we have the Miracle Calling Clash, Super Saiyan, Gohan, and Super Saiyan Goten, Leader Skill, Siblings Bond, Category Key, plus 4, Attack, and attack plus, plus, plus 70%, and HP and Defense, plus 150%, or Goku's Family, Category Key, plus 3, Attack, plus 170%, and HP and Defense, plus 130%. Their 12 Key Super is the Brotherhood Kamameha, 12 Plus Super, uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes cost to the enemy, and their... 18 key is pretty much the same attack. Uh, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Their passive skill, the super duper technique, attack and defense plus 50% launches in an additional attack that has a million chance of becoming a super attack. Key plus one and HP and defense plus 10% with each attack performed. Key up to plus five and HP and attack and defense up to 1000. I mean, 100%, uh, my bad. Uh, disables Rampage, um, pretty much Broly. At the skill, the family Kamehameha massively raises attack temporarily and causes ultimate damage to enemy. Can be activated when HP is 59% or less and facing only one enemy. Starting from the third turn from start to battle, you can only use that once, obviously. Lean skill, all, all in the family, Super Saiyan, Go to Warrior, Kamehameha, Blazing Battle, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. Category Hyper Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Full Power, The Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Siblings Bond, Super Saiyan, Kamameha. Merciless Condemption, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu. Leader Skill, Tech Type Key, plus 3, and HP Attack and Defense, plus 70%. Their 12 Key Super is the Holy Light Grenade, causes cost of damage to enemy, and raises defense by 30% for 3 turns. Um, concert total slash 18 plus key causes mega cost damage to enemy and raises defense by 30% for six turns. Their passive skill is the zero and mortals plan, recovers 15% HP at start of turn, attack plus 30% with each attack received after 120 120%. Link skill, fear and faith, nightmare, prefer prepare for battle, this dismal future, big bad bosses, fierce battle, legendary power, category, Rama Gods, Botara, Future Saga. Time travel, joint forces. A lot of people feel like this unit is starting to age a little bit. 
and I can kind of see why. Um, however, they're so usable. I mean, I use them on my Roman God team. I use them on my uh, Future Saga team. I mean, I, I mean, I still like them. But it would be nice if we got a new LR Goku Black eventually. Endless Adventure, Goku GT, Pan GT, and Trunks GT, or the GT Trio. Leader Skill, Dragon Dragon Ball Seekers, uh, Dragon Ball Seekers category keep us four and HP attack and defense plus one seventy percent, or Super In Type keep us four and HP attack and defense plus one hundred percent. Their twelve key is the Triple Key Wave. Causes causes damage to enemy and raises defense by thirty three percent for one turn. Galaxy Tri Attack, their 18, their 18 key super causes Mega Colossal Damage to enemy and raises defense by 33% for 3 turns. And their passive skill, Love, Courage, and Pride, attack and defense plus 70% when, per, when performing super attack, plus plus a plus, plus an additional attack, plus 70%. If it is an ultra super attack, key plus 1 per Dragon Ball Seekers category ally on the team. Wind skill, uh, say, uh, Saiyan Warrior Race. The Saiyan uh, lineage, rival duo, GT, prepare for battle, shadowing the limit, legendary power, category Dragon Ball Seekers, joining forces. This unit in particular, I've run the Dragon Ball Seekers team, and it's pretty much you can you can pretty much make it up with mostly free to play units, because the uh, Kid Goku and Arale. LR, they are an amazing free to play unit, and especially if you have their TUR with them, you'll have pretty much links for days. I think I might have done a showcase on that already. If I haven't, I'll probably end up making one in the future. But with that said, this is an amazing team, team, and I can definitely see why this unit in particular is considered one of the best units in the game. But with, but with that said, let me see your. Um, I want to know your guys' opinions on this unit, and once again, what do you think the 5th anniversary main uh, feature units will be, and which one, and which combination of what, are, of what I said during the video would you rather have? Me personally, I would rather have Super Saiyan Blue Go Gogeta and, and Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Dual Dogon Fest, if I'm fine with any of them, I'll summon anyways. So, yeah, with, with that said, um, please comment, like, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know, to know when all my uploads go live. And as always, I'll be seeing you all later.